We're born to you live from the iconic hot air balloons here at the Scarborough Town Center. It's live from last week, episode 136. Let's go! Welcome, me, my fellow Jay Walkers, to another episode of Laugh from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So, after waking up early once again this morning, recalling this scene from last week's episode, after picking up the wife from her day shift earlier this evening, and going out for some Japanese ramen at a local place nearby, of which I'll update you guys on how that was in next week's episode, the wife and I last night went to nearby Hana Ramen to have some of these delicious bowls of noodle soup, which, as a bonus, also came with one free refill of noodles for every bowl of soup in your meal. And well, because of this reason, and the fact that they had this massive hand-painted picture of Mount Fuji on the wall in the background, I think the wife and I will definitely find ourselves eating here again sometime in the future. But yeah, moving on to earlier today, where there was history made at the Women's World Cup, with the Philippines women's team scoring their first ever goal here in the tournament and also upsetting one of the host countries, New Zealand, in their second game of the tourney, winning their first ever World Cup match in history, one to nothing. Anyways, resting up today after having the past five days off, tonight I'll be going in for my first of my scheduled three night shifts and well, I'll just catch you guys again tomorrow. Man, on a busy non-stop shift last night, at work, I just wasn't performing at my best. Especially considering that I left work an hour late at 8.30 a.m. But in between my night shifts, after napping a little bit, watching the Blue Jays game in the afternoon, and editing some Live From Last Week video, I'm set to go in for my second on my scheduled three night shifts tonight. But before I make my evening commute, We'll just do our birthday greetings of the day. Starting out with a birthday shout out to one of my sister's friends who I partied with in her unit during my Y6 days. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Adam. Happy birthday, Adam. We next got a birthday greeting to one of my friends that I made at PK's birthday party, of who I ran into randomly last week, and who is labeled as the unofficial ICU recruiter. This birthday shout out goes out to you, He-Man. Happy birthday, He-Man. And last but not least, a birthday shout out to one of my coworkers who I always chat about concerts with, especially Louis Capaldi, Beyonce, and Ed Sheeran. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Antonia. Happy birthday, Antonia. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So, on my commute back home this morning, I decided to stop by one of my favorite restaurants that had closed down pretty recently, seeing that it looked like it was being renovated into something new. And another stop that I made while going home, where I got that pity speeding ticket, barely going just over the speeding limit, I noticed this morning that that speeding camera had disappeared from the location where it once stood. Anyways, after frantically editing Live From Last Week episode 135 set for release tomorrow morning, while watching The Amazing Race Canada in the background, before I go in for my third of my scheduled three night shifts tonight, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my nephews who we celebrated their birthday in a party last weekend. This birthday shout out goes out to you Kyrie. Happy birthday Kyrie. I'm hoping that at this time, you and the family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So after my third night shift that was just as busy as the others, I was only able to take a 90 minute nap before laying on the couch, restless, unable to go back to sleep. So I decided to start browsing on my phone and while editing these live from last week videos from the super kick event that I attended with Royce, I decided to make an impulse buy and purchase one of these official super kick t-shirts. 
Anyways, after taking the GO train this afternoon and seeing these monster trucks while walking as well as these specialty cars that were driving along Front Street and going to the local Domino's in hopes of trying to smuggle in a large pizza, we arrived at the Rogers Center to welcome the Blue Jays back from the road trip to face the Los Angeles Angels and their superstar, the best baseball player in the game right now, Shohei Otani. But moving on, after attending the game, where I randomly ran into one of my buddies, this guy's just gonna walk right by me. I don't, I don't know this guy right. at all. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Nice to see you, man. It's been a while. You. Let's go, Jays! Let's go, Jays! Let's go, Jays! Here at the game, celebrating the Caribbean festival. And now post-game, going to a restaurant that we haven't been to in a while, having late night eats at Scarborough's Perfect Restaurant. We're gonna wrap up the night by doing a couple of birthday greetings of the day. Starting off with one of my childhood friends who, when shooting threes from the three-point line, playing basketball would always be money from the spot. This birthday shout out goes out to you, TJ. Happy birthday, TJ. And we've also got a birthday shout out to one of my former co-workers who would always be down to catching a Jays game with me and who has made several Live From Last Week video cameos in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Sydney. Happy birthday, Sid. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So today, ending up in Saga after still trying to catch up on sleep that I've lost over the past couple of days. Following her dental appointment earlier, the wife and I made our way to the St. Martin of Tours Parish for Saturday evening vigil with me funnily wearing my Austin 316 wrestling t-shirt to mass and me just being relieved that the priest didn't ask me to recite this passage from the Book of Stone Cold. Anyways, on to other things that we have planned for today. I am just going to throw it back and do a quick birthday shout out to one of my good Wysik friends out there, of whom I last saw at their wedding in Kingston several years ago. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Seppin. Happy birthday, Jason. I'm hoping that you and the family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. But moving on, after spending some quality time in the Saga home with the puppy we know as Sesame, it's time once again, like we did several months ago, to check out some televised pay-per-view Saturday night fights at his place. Elite, let's go. Oh. So accurate. Oh. 
Ronnie, a quick 10 second recap on what you think about that Spence slash Crawford fight. I don't know what to think. Flash knockdown second round. I think it was a it was a reality. And his 10 seconds are off. Alright, five seconds. Another another tick, another tick. That was bad, that was bad. In 10 seconds, Ronnie. It was uh but dominating. I didn't think it would be that uh, one-sided, but second round, it seemed over. Just bad intentions, KO'd him, boom, ninth round. Sweet, awesome. So after watching the Crawford versus Spence Jr. boxing super fight at Ronnie's last night, a big shout out and thanks to Ronnie for hosting once again and getting home last night to slowly be able to catch up on some sleep I woke up to watch on TV the Volleyball World Beach Pro Tour matches that are held in a tournament in Montreal this weekend. And with the sister currently there right now, watching one of my favorite beach volleyball players do his patented sky ball on his serve, and witness Canada's women's beach volleyball team, Melissa and Brandy, try to qualify for a spot in this weekend's finals. This event reminds me of a time long ago when I was last at the beach playing beach volleyball. And after watching this match very closely over the past hour or so, as well as the sister sending me this quick video of her, remembering the last time that I actually saw these guys in person, I was finally able to locate and see Andrew and my sister make their live debut as a cameo on international TV. But moving on to this afternoon, where I'm recalling an article that I saw in mid-June that had the Scarborough Town Center's hot air balloons come back for the Scarborough Town Center's 50th anniversary. And so here I am this afternoon walking around the mall a little bit, trying to find them at the location that they once were located at. I finally found these babies in the center court of the mall. And I found it pretty unique that there was an interactive display where you could scan a QR code right here that had resulted in several of these pretty cool augmented reality videos, as you guys can really see here, of the legendary hot air balloons from Scarborough Town Center coming back to life. Anyways guys, I'm off to go back home to get ready for my first of my scheduled three night shifts for tonight. But before I do, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my childhood friends who was just unstoppable at the sports of both soccer and basketball. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Evan. Happy birthday, Evan. We've also got a belated birthday greeting to one of my former co-workers out there who is full of energy, teach me Japanese during my shifts, and who has made several Live From Last Week cameos in the past. This belated birthday greeting goes out to you, Crystal. O tanjoubi omedito gozaimasu. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Guys, going back to yesterday, watching the beach volleyball event on TV, I realized that I saw one of my beach b-ball friends in the crowd. There's Carol! Carol! And while staying on the topic of yesterday, where we saw the hot air balloons at the Scarborough Town Center, well, this afternoon, it looked like these hot air balloons had followed me back home, witnessing them in person in my living room in the condo. Also, in between shifts today, I headed to my cousin Elron's place to drop off my mini mahjong set to my parents, hang out a little bit for a small San Miguel reunion, and have a meeting with Elron about a trip to Chicago next week. Yo, currently at Elron's, doing our new jeans meeting of the week. Oh shoot, I dropped my brownie. Just too excited to see new jeans next week, yo. You know why? Cause he's super shy, super shy. Oh, wait a minute, with your, make your mind, make your mind, a minute, minute, minute. And speaking of being in between shifts, after a busy first night shift in a set of three, last night with only us being three working on the whole unit, like I've done in the past as a stress reliever, 
I got some McDonald's Happy Meal as a post-night shift treat to, of course, make me happy. But while I was taking out my frustrations on my Happy Meal this morning, I may have also been a little bit upset at the people who currently run Twitter, having changed their cute little birdie logo into a plain black and white X. Which means I realized that I have to actually change up my farewell greeting. And well, on that note, we'll wrap up this week's episode right here. So, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jaywalker POV on Twitter, <sighs> Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live from Last Week.